This is the official weigh-in for EFC 79 from Carnival City, Johannesburg, South Africa. Hello and welcome to the official weigh-ins for EFC 79 from Carnival City Casino and Entertainment Complex here in Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm Simon Stevens. We have a cracking night of combat action lined up for you, culminating in the featherweight title clash between the champion Igor Smiley Cabeza and the challenger, the Croatian cowboy Carlos Saput. Before we get official proceedings underway, let me introduce to you this EFC team joining me on stage. He's the man who makes it all happen, the EFC president, Cairo Howarth. Joining him is the man with the maps of the scraps. It's the EFC matchmaker, Graham Cartmel. And from the governing body, it's Ferdi Vassano. Oh. And the first prelim bout is a lightweight scrap between Given Majuba and Tommy Stradham. Oh. First on the scale is Tommy Stradham. Oh. Tommy Stradham hits the mark at 154.3 pounds. And his opponent is Given Majuba. Bone cracker hitting the mark at 154.9 pounds. Our next scrap is a bantamweight fight between Temba Mkise and Corne Bloom. First, this girl, please welcome Temba Mkise. Here's a hits the scale at 131.9 pounds. Please welcome his opponent, Corne Blum. Blum weighs in at 135.3 pounds. The next fight is a catchweight affair between Hisham Kamish and Ruvan de Beer. First to the scale, please welcome Hisham Kamish. Kamish hits a scale at 129.6 pounds. Please welcome his opponent, Ruvan de Beer. Beer hits the scale at 133.3 pounds. The next fight is a lightweight scrap between Elvis the Animal and Gualanguala and Rocky Commander Man Ilunga. First the scale is Rocky Ilunga. Commander Man comes in at 154.7 pounds. Please welcome to the scale his opponent, Elvis Nguala
The animal comes in at 153.1 pounds. Our next fight is a heavyweight affair between Juan Besaidenhout and Nico Yamji. Please welcome to the scale, Nico Yamji. The lion roars at 264 pounds. Please welcome his opponent to the scale, the assassin, Juan Bezaidenhout. The assassin is on target at 261.8 pounds. Our next prelim fight is a featherweight affair between the troublemaker Faiz Jacobs and Billy the Kid Oersteisen. Please welcome to the scale, Billy Oersteisen. The kit comes in at 143.2 pounds. Please welcome to the scale his opponent, the troublemaker, Faiz Jacobs. The troublemaker hits the scale at 142.7 pounds. Our first main card bout is a lightweight affair between Tumi Sangmadiba and Reinaldo Exxon. Please welcome to the scale, Reinaldo Exxon. Guerrero hits the scale at 155.2 pounds. Please welcome to the scale his opponent, the president, Tumisang Madiba. The president hits the scale at 154 and one half pounds. Heating things up as the next fight is a middleweight affair between Kulikani Longwa and Stefan Pretorius. First the scale, please welcome Stefan Pretorius.
Mr. Kicks comes in at 183.1 pounds. Please welcome to the scale his opponent, Cold Steel, Kulakani Longwa. Still weighs in at 185 pounds. Our next fight is a catchweight affair between Anaset Kanyeba and P.T. Coxon. Please welcome to the scale, P.T. Thunder Coxon. Thunder rumbles at 167.3 pounds. Anisak Kanyeba is still making weight and he has two hours in which to do so. Our next fight is a welterweight affair for the EFC Welterweight Grand Prix between Tamba Garimbo and Jose Dedinho de Rocha. Please welcome from the Tal Brazil, Jose Dedinho de Rocha. The video hits the scale at 170 and one half pounds. Please welcome to the scale his opponent, the answer, Tamba Grimbo. The Zimbabwean hero comes in at 170 pounds. Now it's time to take a look at the main bout of EFC 79. Iga Cabeza and Carlo Caput is one of those fights that you cannot miss. It's a fight that needs to happen. The featherweight belt needs to be defended by a top prospect. And none other than Carlo Caput came over here to challenge the most prolific featherweight champion we've ever had, Iga Cabeza. Iga's really testing his stand-up at the moment. He really wants to stand and trade. You can always get on the ground and know that he's pretty dominant in that area. That's where he's grown up. That's where he's honed all of his skills. Carlo is a much different fighter to anybody Iga's ever faced. They call him the Croatian cowboy. That's what he is about. That's a guy who's 8-0, undefeated, a super finisher, and all he wants to do is challenge the very best we have. He's a gunslinger. He's gonna come out there, guns blazing, looking to finish Iggy Cabeza in the first. I think it's gonna be a stand-up fight. I think it's gonna be a trading war. Carlo's got the definitive reach. And let's see how that plays out. Somebody that, that can test Iggy in the stand-up. I know Iga wants to be tested there. Iga Cabeza versus Carlos Saput for the EFC Featherweight Championship of the World. Proudly brought to you by Restonic. Please welcome to the scale, the cowboy, Carlos Saput.
Coercion Cowboy comes in at 144 pounds. Now please welcome his opponent, the featherweight champion of the world, Iga Smiley Cabasa. The champion comes in at 144.8 pounds. Let's have a few words with the champion, Iga Smiley Cabeza. Iga, build up to fight week. All the talk is about how difficult it is to find opponents for a guy as dominating as you. So difficult to find. What do you see in Carlos to put that's a challenge to your title? Um, I don't see any challenges from him. Um, besides the three weeks notice, I don't see any challenges from him. Yeah, man. Just another fight for you. What, what's the future for you after this? You, you're such a dominant champion in the featherweight division. What do you want if you keep that belt? Not if, I am keeping the belt and um, what's next for me? I don't know. Carry what's next for me, man. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see after this fight, man. Yeah. Awesome. And fight camp, how's it been? Preparations going well? Well, we're only at three weeks, so um, <laughs> I don't know, man. No, but um, fight camp has gone well. It was a short um, camp, but we train every day, so yeah, it's okay, man. Everything is just fine, yeah? Can't wait. Your champion, ladies and gentlemen, Iga Smarty Cabeza. And a few words with Chanda Carlos have put a great opportunity for you. First EFC uh, fight, and it's a title fight. What do you make of the champion, Iga Cabeza? I don't know anything about him. He's a good fighter, uh, what I see on YouTube. And I will, I will give my best to be a new champion. How was your fight camp? How well prepared are you? Because it's very different coming out from Eastern Europe and coming to a major global promotion like the EFC. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for the big time, Carlo? I am always ready. That's it. I don't know. I don't need anything to say. Just that. Can't wait to see you fight. Congratulations, your ladies and gentlemen. Please give it up for Carlo Saput. Well, let's just have a quick chat with the EFC matchmaker Graham Cartmel. Well, Graham, we're talking how difficult it is to find opponents for Smiley, but wow, you find someone special in Carlos Saput, haven't you? Uh, yeah, Carlos is a is a real specimen. As far as like knockout ability is concerned, um, when I was looking through his footage. There was a particular knockout that just shocked the hell out of me. I mean, the guy he fought was maybe 40, 40 deep in terms of the amount of fights he's had. And Colin, I think in the first 15 seconds, laid, he laid this guy flat. That guy has punching power like we have never seen before. Um, and we know that Iga wants to test his stand-up. He's put on spectacular knockouts against Paolo Bananadas. So you can expect absolute fireworks. You can expect two guys wanting to prove who owns that hexagon come Saturday. It's going to be spectacular. Talk about fireworks, Graham. You've got that welterweight Grand Prix kicking off between Tamba Garimbo and Jose Tahoshi. I mean, talk about knockout power. Those guys have got everything, haven't they? You know, uh, if, if the weigh-ins say anything about that fight, you see the intensity when Timber comes on stage. He looks at everybody like he wants to destroy them. You, me, everybody. And it's exactly the same way he feels about Jose. He's here to do business. And similarly, Jose is that guy. He's the guy that is pure intent when it comes down to the fight game. That is all business. That is a beautiful fight. That's going to be amazing to watch. The whole main card's pretty stacked. What's your fight of the night candidate looking at that card right now? Right now, it's got to be Tumisang Madiba. Uh, uh, and uh, I, th I think that uh, that fight, we put it on short notice, but both of those guys are just like they're electric. I've watched both of their fights, and I really, uh, uh, Ronaldinho uh, is, is a, an absolute spectacular fighter. I watched him, he fought a, a guy recently, he went toe to toe for three rounds, he got bruised and battered, but he warred him his way to a win. I mean, he's a, he's a real warrior, so that's gonna be fireworks, it's gonna be a great fight. Great, Gar. Graham, thank you very much indeed. Well, that concludes our official weigh-ins of EOC 79 here at Carnival City. Don't forget, you can catch all the main card action at 8 p.m. Central African time. And do check out EFCWorldwide.com for all the schedules in your country. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then. Undisputed EFC featherweight champion, Ika Cabeza. Multi-time wrestling South African champion. Puts his title on the line. Champions in the house, guys.
against a new undefeated Croatian threat, Carlo Saput. Plus, Zimbabwe's Temba Garimbo goes up against the ultra-dangerous Brazilian Jose da Rocha for the official number one welterweight contender spot. On 4 May, EFC 79, live from Carnival City, Johannesburg. Tickets and broadcast information at efcworldwide.com.